What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What is going on, everybody? What is this? Up close real time performance. That's cool. What's happening, everybody? We're doing a quick Q and A. Quick Q and A. I know I've been going for like, excuse me, the weekend plus some time, but all in all, it's for the betterment of Coach Brian. I promise you. <laughs> so we're doing a quick little Q and A. Um, I had a little bit of extra time before I have to get some, back to some clients and content and stuff like that. So feel free to ask any type of holistic questions that you guys have for me because y'all are smothering my DMs. I am averaging about 44 messages a day. I'm letting y'all know right now I'm not getting all of that. I made the video about requesting certain information in the comment section of the videos because that's most, more so where I work at. So it's, for instance, if I post a video about blood health or stomach health, and y'all comment down there, I'm probably going to engage with that a lot faster than I'm going to engage with the DMs because it's just hectic. It is so hectic. Oh, and for everybody that's trying to, uh, I guess, do like the sponsored DMs and reach out to collabs, just email me or I just find another way because these DMs are something else. But other than that, I want to also give y'all a shout out and thank y'all for um, what, we, what had happened. Oh, yeah, there's this dude or whoever did that's running the account. Um, they have like a, a fake page of me out there. So it's like it's spelled the exact same way plus an extra eye. So for all y'all that reported the person, for all y'all that blocked them, for all y'all that told others about it, thank you guys so much for it. But other than that, welcome to our uh, live q and I'm about to put some music on, but I need to find my charger because the last thing we need is this thing dying while we're live. But yeah, and this type of, oh, thank y'all for the hearts. A lot of love. And no, I ain't, even though y'all want me to do it, I'm not doing that NPC stuff. That is... That is just I'm, just, I'm trying to be nice. It's not my style. I'll say that. We answer questions. We get things done around here. Uh, I'm not about to do that. Thank you for the heck. I'm not doing all that. That's not even a, that's not even appealing to me. But um, but yeah, if y'all have any questions, if y'all have anything y'all want to talk about, please let me know. Let's hit up this con this uh, live. And if there's no questions, I will go to Instagram, where the questions are always popping. Instagram don't know how to go to sleep, I'll tell you that. And if all y'all, before y'all asking, what's in the water? It's just Celtic salt and uh, lime juice. It's for the liver, it's for the blood, it's for the minerals. Also, if you want to go live with me, hit the request button. Just don't do nothing stupid. Because I will block you. And there will no longer be no Coach Brown in your life, I promise you. But other than that, what's going on, people? I am back from the live hiatus, however you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Um, twitching for six weeks. So, oh, that's another thing too. Y'all be a little bit more. Why is it not charging? Can we be a little bit more specific with our questions? So, if you're going to say, "Hey, I've been twitching for six weeks," or "I have this going on and that going on," I'm more than willing to help out and more than willing to answer the question. But you also have to. Oh, it is charging. You also have to keep in mind that um, there's various amounts of reasons why somebody can be twitching for six weeks straight you know what if you have neurological damage if you have some type of mental disorder you know if you have a mineral deficiency so try your best and i know the characters are limited limited in the comment section but please try your best try your best to at least hit the um hit all of the details and give me what you can when i'm reading it because i don't want to just give you a, a answer that's not really an answer specifically for you but um, other than that, y'all, welcome to the live. She said Twitch for six weeks. Scared case, it's ALS. Sorry, no, no, no need to apologize. I'm not coming at you no type of way. I just want you to be a little bit more specific. So if you don't know why you're twitching, you know, just say that. Say like, hey, I've been twitching for six weeks. I don't know what's the cause, X, Y, and Z. Because if you know the cause, then we can get down to it. But if you don't know the cause, then that's a whole nother conversation. You know, that, that involves specialists that you actually need to go see to deal with that. But if not, yeah. Somebody put, are you Asian? <laughs> I mean, if I look Asian, I guess I'm Asian, but I'm not. <laughs> she said, finish this Sim Sim. I know you're not talking about uh that Beanie Man song from way back. If you is, you got good taste. I listened to that a few weeks ago when I was in the gym. Once again, y'all, welcome to the live. Any type of questions y'all have about holistic health, wellness, all that type of stuff, y'all just let me know. <laughs> she is, she is what? Wait, I'm confused, what I miss? What y'all said in the comment section? I'm talking about some she is. 
What y'all got? See, I see some foolishness about to start. What y'all got going on in this comment section? That's what I want to know. Okay, there you go. She said, I've been twitching. Then woke up with my arm twitching on elbow for a few seconds. Um, okay, so if you've been doing that for about a good six weeks, for one, I'm definitely going to tell you to go see a neurologist because it can be a lot deeper than what I'm about to say. But one of the biggest things that I found when it comes down to um, neurology and as far as like twitching and muscle spasm and stuff like that, it stems from deficiency. It's always going to be either a mineral or a vitamin deficiency, and it has a lot to do with your diet. Not saying that that's the cause, but in most cases, you'll see people... Uh, struggle with deficiencies in their minerals and vitamins that have that type of thing like prime example the reason why i don't just drink plain water and i get like distilled mountain or spring water and i put celtic salt and lime juice in this one it's acting it's acting as a detoxifier for my blood but it's also pushing the minerals and their hydration into the cell oftentimes we drink water and it has no charge to it and it's literally just going through it so you're hydrating but you're not really hydrating but when you add these things in there boom so the only thing I would say is um get some blood some blood work done go so go see a neurologist see what they tell you and then come back to me because that can be a lot of that can be a lot of different reasons but for what I would tell you in general um multi mineral multivitamin eat right juice right you know I don't want to give you something that's gonna just alter you the wrong way quote unquote oh she is talking about the song being a man and the gods that's a bro let me tell you something okay I like y'all already I like y'all already I have low sodium in my blood any help um you have to start eating more leafy greens seaweed kale mustard greens collard greens broccoli uh things of that nature you know start incorporating a lot of greens within your system you can do sauce aparilla as a herb you can do um that's another one I, I gave to a client the other day but i can't remember at the, at the moment but also you too a multi-mineral and start drinking the same type of water that i was just telling her about when you start doing those things you're pushing the minerals back within our body back within your body a lot of people are like well just do some sea moss do some sea gel and even though i'm not against that that's not something i personally dove into or i have enough research on to be like do that not to say that it doesn't work I'm personally just not a fan and have no interest in it. Will I eventually use it? Maybe. Will I eventually read more into it? Maybe. But as far as right now, there's literal multi-minerals and different dietary supplements you can get. I mean, uh, structures you can change and get that will help you out to me. I'd rather, I rather more of like a dietary lifestyle change and then work on supplements than just run into that. I want to cure, I want to clear mucus up in my body because I know it's tied to sickness and disease. So what should I do? So I will say this. We, we need to break the stigma of mucus. Oh, thank you for the confetti. Um, we need to break the stigma of mucus is evil. Like, I get it. You know, we now there's a, a mass understanding and a mass movement on social media of, oh, if you have mucus, you have cancer. If you have mucus, you're sick and you're just inflamed and you're acidic. That's not all the way right and that's not all the way true. I mean, all the way wrong either. So what's happening is, is the, is the surplus or the abundance of mucus that causes a problem. You're actually, here's the thing. If you had no mucus, absolutely no mucus within your body, you can't swallow, you can't digest, you can't use the bathroom, number one and number two. You can't filter out and protect your uh, sinus ducts. Your lymphatic system is compromised. Your digestive system is compromised. Your endocrinology, well, your endocrine system is compromised. So it's more so about balancing that out. Prime example, like I said before, simple fixes, y'all, real simple fixes. Water, salt, lime, do that every day. And then like eight, at least like eight cups a day and then that should help out but if you're actually really sick hold on madison um if you're actually really sick and you're going through something like that you need to make sure that you're on um nettle root is really good for uh not say for mucus but for cleaning out the lymphatic system and getting it going um and you can do it in a tea form tincture form me personally i would say do teas but a whole bunch of nettles and start eating a lot of uh berries nettles and better berries will really help you out Let's see. She said, let me scroll back down. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me scroll back down. When y'all comment, it just flies back up. So I got to scroll back to the other comments. I will put the song. I, I know what song she's talking about. If I wouldn't get flagged, I would put the song on, but I, I can't. Because the moment I put it on, they'll be like, your copyright subscription, we have to take down the live. And I hate that. <clears throat> she said, on and off, stuff." on and off suffer severe health anxiety yeah that's definitely tied to the twitching and the neurological pathways you need to see a specialist uh, let's see 
what herbs will you use for flesh eating bacteria i would more so give a flush let me see i have a folder on it actually um there it goes flesh eating diseases yeah so it's more so a dietary change but i'm gonna read something from one of my protocols that i'm working on so flesh eating disease is a necrotisis of facetus is another name for it in which flesh and muscle are destroyed at the rate of inches an hour can spring from a range of uh streptococcal uh, bacteria of which there are over 80 subtypes it seems that this common bacteria is some unknown way revives a booster by taking on viral dna lungs liver and stomach may be attacked while red blood cells are disrupted and their hemoglobin released uh, among other conditions caused by uh what's that streptococcus is the best red rash of scarlet fever so a lot of treatments that i would do is um and that's another thing too we have to before i start re keep reading that we have to realize that it's resistant against penicillin most flesh eating diseases are resistant against uh penicillin so let's just get out of the way so frequent hot lemon drinks well laced with honey that's what you want to do like every and, and get the um unfiltered honey if you can get it raw and especially right now with it being so hot like it should be really really loose so that's good so you want to pour a lot of that into your um your lime and lemon based water um you want to if you want to get a tincture you can get inconacea go uh golden seal so you can get two parts of inconacea one part golden seal and a myrrh half m-y-r-r-h i'm gonna say that one more time inconacea two parts golden seal one part and myrrh a half of it m-y-r-r-h so it could be 10 to 20 uh, drops in a spoon with water or honey, and you take that hourly. If you start doing that hourly, that should help you out. Um, and if you want to, you can go just see like a medical practitioner for everything else, because I'm not about to sit there and give you all the other information on that whenever I can't physically walk you through that. That's more so too risky for me to say, and I don't want to put your life at jeopardy, but yeah. Good question though. Yes, please add things to your water. I almost tore my kidneys up. Yeah, it's, so that's the thing. A lot of people don't even realize it. One of the biggest myths that we have is that, oh, if my pee is clear, I'm hydrated. No, if your pee is clear, you're overhydrated. Because the whole point of your kidneys, which uh, tie directly to your bladder, is to filtrate and get things out. So, yeah, we want to see impurities. Yeah, we want to see all the imbalances come out and blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, why is it? that we feel the need to drink so much to the point to where we're overdoing it. Don't don't overdo it. Just give give your body what it needs and it will act accordingly. These text messages are starting to fly through, so I'm definitely gonna put this on, do not disturb. What's going on, Stasha? More agree, thanks, great. <laughs> you, you're welcome. All right, let me see, let me keep scrolling down. Da, 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 da. What helps with sinusitis from anxiety? Um, kind of the same thing I was talking about before, but um, a lot of things I would like to tell people is if you feel yourself, especially your sinus, uh, sinus ducts start to act up and things of that nature, a lot of mullen. So M-U-L-L-E-I-N is how you spell it. Um, and start doing more herbal, not baths per se, but like face uh, steams. That's going to help open up the sinus duct. It's going to help start draining everything out. And if you don't have any pets, um, get you like an oil diffuser and put some peppermint oil in there and let it just roam through the house it'll keep your sinus cavities open and it'll help you out but more so once again that's more so the diet not so heavy on the meats start all that processed food gotta go all that processed snack and gotta go make sure you're properly hydrated go outside and get some sun that's one of the biggest problems that we have out here especially if you're in the west where i'm at people do not go outside at all i get it it's 100 degrees outside go find you a tree all the way to the sun go down go outside go walk go stand up go sit on your porch soak up uh, some of that sun because if not you're going to find yourself in a world of trouble do you have anything for kidneys nettles nettles are oh i'm gonna give you two things one get your one to two lemons put them in the blender like whole after you clean them i don't know what that was whole lemons after you clean them clean them off and then blend them blend them fine 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 and then you drink that straight um and a tea you can make any you can do nettle leaf nettle root Make teas for that, or you can do tinctures, but I prefer the teas. And then make sure that you're drinking that on a daily basis or every other day, and you should be fine. That'll definitely help your kidneys out. And also start fasting. Like, people don't fast enough. The more that you fast, the more that you're giving your body a break, and you're giving the stem cells time to uh, to grow out and, and be used. You're giving the body in the bowels, especially. Like, prime example, if a person is constipated or have a stagnant bowel or just in just stagnant lymphatic system, and they go on a fast, let's just say 
constipated or have a stagnant bowel or just in just stagnant lymphatic system and they go into fast. Let's just say they're only doing uh the enriched water that we talked about and fruits or just water and herbs, two, three days, two, three, four days, depending on how long the body can take. Don't overdo it. Do what you can. You'll start to notice that like, okay, the breath is starting to stink. The sweat is starting to stink a little bit more. Well, guess what? All of those things that's been coagulated, all those things that's been uh, cemented and packed at X, Y, and Z, the body is finally starting to utilize it and get rid of it. You got to think about it. Our body stores what it can't process as fat. So whenever your body starts to process that and burn it off and you're on this fast and it's doing X, Y, and Z, now your body is in a position to utilize and dispose of it properly. So yeah, you might stink a little bit. Yeah, your breath might be a little bit funky. But at the same time, let nature run its course. And once you shake back, you break your fast with fruits. You break your fast with fruit juice. You break your fast with vegetables, things of that nature. Like prime example, some little beans and rice. You can do, um, I love me some beans and rice. You can do um, um, watermelon, a lot of, a lot of hydrative fruits. Uh, you can do blueberries. It's good for your endocrine system. You know, like just keeping yourself, just you know what hurts your body. Well, you feel what hurts your body and you don't feel a uh, few of the things that don't that hurt your body. But ultimately, going in and out of a fast, you're very sensitive to everything that's going within your body. So you know and your body knows. So be very tentative to what's going on when you put things in and out of your body. For the lymphatic system, nettles and berries, correct. Is there a limit to how much fruit you can eat a day? In my personal opinion, it's a yes and no question. I have diabetic patients that I have and they eat more so on the um the low glycemic index scale and they don't eat a lot of a lot of fruits but they eat enough to where they can get enough glycogen activation and they develop a different type of insulin sensitivity and it helps them out help them throughout the day but if somebody that has cancer and i'm trying to help them out six to eight weeks you're not even eat fruits because we want to starve out the glycogen levels within the body and the sugars that's within the body because you have to starve out cancer so six to eight weeks you're not even eating fruits at all it's going to be a lot of vegetables and beans a lot of it a couple with like whatever herbs we have to go in the corresponding organ and our gland that we're dealing with as opposed to how we're going to hydrate the body as well um have you heard of brushing your teeth with celtic salt or swishing it yeah that's real okay so one of the reasons i actually did a video on this not too long ago but when it comes down to like brushing your teeth with uh seawater and stuff like that i heard it's good to when well, i heard i've read that it's good to rinse your mouth with that and you can do baking soda as well but more so floss I, they always say this floss the teeth that you want to keep so floss those teeth that you want to keep which is all 32 of them hopefully if you have them um and no shade if you don't have them but make sure that you're oil pulling as well not only does it go and help the teeth to pull out the back the bad bacteria it helps the tongue too your mouth is one whole ecosystem of just everything so make sure that you're oil pulling make sure that you're flossing brushing is important too but make sure you're rinsing your mouth with that celtic salt or that baking soda uh, concoction that you want to do i just ordered the nettles perfect you're already on it fasting is the secret weapon yes it is I've currently dry, I have I am currently dry brushing cold pressed juice and wait hold up you doing there's no commas in this sentence I'm currently dry brushing cold pressed juice and have cleaned my diet up a whole lot good for you that's how you're supposed to do it this is good for God dog I gotta scroll back up this is good for pH as well blending fresh lemon for sure for sure lemons and limes I'm, I'm more of a lime person but lemons are in in general a lot of people like to run from the acidity of it but that's the thing. It's such a good balancer. It's such a good cleanser. If you balance that with a very, very, very good diet, dude, no telling what's going to happen. Like it's always going to be in a restorative healing property. Fasting helps. I fasted 40 days. The Lord moved abundantly, not just spiritually, but physically, as he always does. Let me tell you something. One of the fastest ways to get connected with God, one of the fastest ways to enrich your life, and, and especially if you do it the right way. When we fasten from something, it's not just, oh, I'm just abstaining from this and I'm not doing this. I'm going about my day regularly. No, you're going to take the, that time or make the time to pray more, to read your Bible more, to seek God more, because that's exactly the purpose of fasting is to form not only a closer relationship, but a stronger relationship. So you're right about that i'm diabetic what type of fast can i go on it depends what type of diabetic are you what are your sensitivities what uh area on the glycemic index on the low glycemic index scale can you actually eat and what you cannot eat i still believe i have a sluggish lymphatic system yeah you have to give it time if this if this is a process that you just started you have to make sure that you're giving it time to activate give it time to work through your system and make sure that you're coupling your new practices with a good diet with the exercise regimen and when we say exercise on a day-to-day -day basis we're not saying go to the gym and go underneath the bar and just go crazy and squat. We're not saying that. You can literally, you have people that have never lifted weights in their life, but they're extremely healthy. Why? Because they walk every day. They go out. Prime example, I have a client that's 62, I want to say right now. I've been training her for about two, three years now. I want to say roughly two, two and a half years. 
And even when we went through the great freeze and down here in the south and like the weather was horrible, X, Y, and Z, she did not miss a day. Like we we started the workout off with either walking or jogging about a mile or a half a mile. And then we started the, like the actual weight resist, resistance type of workout. So there's no excuses. Make the time or take the effort to do what you have to do so you can be healthy and be alive and be around. What happens if I don't if I don't floss? So what happens is your your mouth or your body in general will because you got to think about it. If you're not flossing and you're eating because I know you're not missing a meal. Most people don't miss meals, especially if you're on TikTok and you got social media. That means you can afford Internet, phone, Wi-Fi, which means you're probably eating. So what that means is that you're leaving what's called foreign substances inside of the mouth. The mouth is going to deem that as bad bacteria. The mouth is going to attack it. So it's if it's all wedged up between different to teats and stuff like that and it's all sitting in there and you're not flossing it may not happen overnight but over time that bacteria is going to keep eating and eating at whatever it's going to try to get his hands on to where it can actually clean out the mouth whether it's a part or it's going at the enamel or not so be careful about that <clears throat> my stomach is wrecked into everything is it time for a water fast you said it not me that's exactly what it's time for do i blend the whole yeah blend the whole lemon what kind of diet do you have? What do you think of being vegan, veggies, fruit, legumes, etc.? I feel like there are there's healthy ways to eat in every diet. The only diet that I 100% go against currently is the keto diet. I'm not going to get into that. I'm just not a fan. Um, but I will say this: I live by the 80/20 rule. Regardless of whatever you're doing, 80% of what you're eating and consuming has to be organic, has to be fruits, has to be vegetables, has to be seeds, has to be legumes. If you keep that and you hold true to that, I'm not going to say it, it erases the other 20 percent, but majority of your diet and lifestyle will be completely organic and it pushes you and propels you into a better lifestyle. Nine times out of 10 type two diabetic. So that means that you need to eat very, very and fast, very, very low on the uh, glycemic index scale. Honestly, you might have to bypass fruits for a little while, but also uh, fasting and working out on the empty stomach, start doing more hit. Like the moment you start diet, I forgot, but there's a little protocol I made not so long ago that I'm refining. I need to go back to it. But um, it's more so about re reconditioning your glycogen storages. If you wake up, prime example, if you wake up in the morning and before you eat anything, do this fat, like fastedly do this. You do high intensity interval training. You do about six rounds of um, 30 seconds to a minute, 30 seconds of running or uphill or whatever to a minute of rest back to back. I'm just assuming that you're somebody and I, and I could be wrong, but I'm just going to set the bar for really, really low for somebody that doesn't work out at all. Say if you find a hill, you live in a park or whatever, you do 30 seconds, boom, you're jogging, minute break, 30 seconds, minute break, you do that six rounds. That's pulling on a lot of your glycogen storages and helping your body regulate insulin a lot better. And then on top of that, you couple that with um, eating, like like I said, once again, fruits that's very low on the uh, index scale. That within itself is going to help your insulin sensitivity. That within itself, why did this cut off? That within itself, and now I have to fix it again. That within itself is going to um, help your body adjust to any type of... Uh, diabetes that you have but it's also going to help because you gotta think about it, diabetes is the damaging or the hyperinflammation of the pancreas once you start to heal the pancreas and you eat according to that it's going to automatically start healing it, it knows how to heal itself we just don't treat it right or we don't understand how to properly function through our illnesses and it's that simple i'm not even about to make it this big grand thing it's that simple couple that with maybe a little bilberry here and there that which is a herb that should help you out um can jump rope help hold up i gotta scroll back up can jump rope help with lymphatic system? Most definitely. You're jumping up and down. You're moving. Prime example, you have people that, I forgot what that machine is called, but it's the little belt that they put on them and it's just shaking them. It's going back and forth. That helps with the lymphatic system, get things down on the bouncing ball. Um, You can do a sauna. I love sauna box. You can do a sauna, sauna box. You can do dry brushing. Um, Staying active in general is the best way, honestly. But if you couple that with that, prime example, I love working out. But I also love the sauna box. You couple those two, that's cardiovascular and lymphatic structure being renewed, being activated, being worked every single day. Can't lose with that, with a good diet. Uh, Coach, do you have any suggestions that could be ingested healthily that will replace using what? An enema. Um, It's very hard to get around an enema. I'm not going to lie to you because enemas are elite, very elite. Because here's my thing. The reason why I say that is because we get to, and, and I'm not saying, okay, okay, I got to word this the right way. Let's say 
let's say you're super constipated. You have like caked up calcified fecal matter that is not coming out. You haven't pooed in about a week. You haven't pooed, shoot, you haven't pooed in two, three days. So what I would implore you to do is eat an abundance of watermelon. Hydrative, goes straight to the blood, goes straight to the stomach. It loosens up the fecal matter. It helps everything, especially when it hits the colon. It hits everything. It, it helps everything out. You hydrate yourself with the Celtic uh, salt and the lime water that I was telling, or lemon water I was telling you guys about earlier. You get to exercise, and and um, the only herb I would suggest maybe is like some slippery elm, because I would say cascara sagrada, but it's more of a pushing with the laxative. But it, with a slippery elm, it's more so coating the stomach and coating the intestines and helping it everything slide out. Or even aloe vera gel if you want to do that and eat a bunch of fruits like i said you can't go wrong with 80 20 and stay hydrated and that'd be one of the best ways to do it now if you're using an enema for like parasites or something else that's a whole nother conversation but that would be the only way i would bypass an enema at the end of the day enemas and colonics are elite i would never say to not do it it's they're elite i appreciate your balanced approach thank you very much uh best friend just got okay this person Said their boyfriend just got diagnosed with high blood pressure. Best first changes to make cayenne pepper. What I do is, let's see. Right, can y'all see this? So, well, I'll leave that alone. Get you about this much. My hand, just to show you how big my hand is. It's like compared to an iPhone. I have a pretty big hand. But like, that's how big my hand is, right? So get you a glass. Get you a little shot glass. or get you like a hat about that much. But put some distilled water in there. Don't put no salt or no lime. Just put some distilled water in there and put you like a little quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper in there. He should take that before every meal and as soon as he wake up. Well, let's just do before every meal because I know he's going to be eating. So before every meal and make sure that he's eating, once again, like I said, 80-20. You can't go wrong with the 80-20. Um, and stay away from all the harsh red meats. Eat more of the, le the leaner meats, things of that nature. That's going to give him more... Um, uh vasodilation that's going to help um be a, a good catalyst to the bloodstream that's going to purify the blood any internal bleeding he has is going to patch it up it's good with gastric uh hydrochloric stomach acid level is going to increase that but ultimately high blood pressure runs from poor diet they're not exercising enough the arteries are real stiff you know and if you don't get a hold of it now he can develop erectile dysfunction and i'm pretty sure y'all don't want that but um i will start with that Coach, do you have any suggestions that can be ingested healthfully that we're replace using it? You already asked that question. I must have didn't ask it fast enough. Uh, let's see. How do you form your meals? It depends. Like me personally, I'm in a bulking phase right now, so I'm eating a lot of beans. I'm eating a lot of plant. I, I really shoot for the, like, I don't eat a lot of meat. I really don't. Like, I can if I want to, but it doesn't feel the same as, and it doesn't feel as good as when I'm more plant-based in my, oh, it's finished. She just finished cooking. I'm about to wrap this up. Uh, <laughs> it's not the same as a, a good plant-based protein uh, diet. So you can't, like, once again, 80-20. Like, <laughs> I kid y'all not, 80-20 is the way to go. If you don't want to be a vegan, if you don't want to be vegetarian, if you don't want to be um, or, or, or pescatarian, but once again, if the 20% of, of, of meat that you're eating is fish or everything that you're eating is fish, the 80% should correspond. Y'all can't, and that's just another thing. If you're a meat eater, do not eat a bunch of meat with no greens you're doing yourself a disservice like if you have a handful of meat and you don't have two to three handfuls of greens you're losing your liver is not going to thank you your digestive system is going to hate you couple the two accordingly because if not you're losing i got one more question then i'm out y'all one more question uh and if all y'all that feels as though you're not getting your questions answered i might hop on and like at like maybe four and do like another 30 minute section i don't know but if not today, for sure, tomorrow, I'm coming live again. But one more question, then I'm done, y'all. Uh, let's see. You know what? This is this is a lot of this is a lot of comments. So I'm going to just do a random scroll. I'm going to do a, a roulette scroll. And whoever I land on is whoever I land on. I don't want nobody to feel like I'm skipping them. I'm just going to scroll down and scroll up. And whatever I land on is the one I'm answering. All right. God dang it. I keep scrolling all the way back. Do you shop from uh, big name grocery stores? Not too often. I we I actually call Walmart the ghetto. I hate going to Walmart. Y'all can ask my fiance. If we gotta go to Walmart for something, it's for sure not gonna be for no food. I can't. I just don't like going to the big Walmart. 
I don't like the fruit section. I don't like that every time you go down a different type of aisle, it's another type of candy. I don't like their boxes. I just don't like Walmart. Well, I like to shop. We have like a local, uh, I'm in the South. So we have a lot of fresh local fresh markets. We have a lot of local boucheries and everything. So like that's more so where we like to shop at and get our things from. And I, I'm also starting my own garden. So it's like by next year, I don't have to go anywhere. You know, I want my own chickens. I want my own uh, okra. I want my own beans, tomatoes, rice. I want like, I don't want to rely on nobody but myself and God. You know, so if the land blesses me with that, well, no, when the land blesses me with that, I'm that much more self-sufficient. I don't have to worry about pesticides being on my stuff, herbicides being on my stuff, um, different type of chemicals that they put into make stuff last longer and grow. So I don't want that. I'm, all my seeds are, I've already started collecting my seeds. They're all heirloom. You know, they're all organic or as close to first generation as possible. I literally have a, um, a, a nursery, well, a plant vegetable um nursery not even two blocks from my house we just we actually just left there i had to go get some stuff for my yard to treat my yard to get ready to get everything ready for the cold season and like bro it's a blessing it's truly a blessing but before i get off y'all already know how we roll let me pull some up real quick uh i got something for y'all all right, so our quick scripture from the day is Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. That means that we should always daily, hourly, minutely, um, quadruply, I don't care, depend on God. Make sure y'all praying. Make sure y'all in y'all word. Make sure that y'all meditating every day. Make sure that you're forgiving one another. Make sure that you're sowing your seeds. Remember that whatever God can get through you, he will give to you. So if you're just penny pinching and you're holding on to everything, you will never reap the blessing that you truly deserve because, prime example, I have all of these now. I have all of this knowledge. I've been in school for 10 years for all of this. And what am I doing? I'm giving it back to y'all. God has given me the gift of learning, of education, of solitude. So guess what? I'm not hoarding for myself just for me and my family. I'm sharing it to the almost 300,000 followers that I have. And I got here by giving everything that he got through me, giving it to y'all. I love y'all. I pray that y'all have a great day. I pray that God blesses y'all. I pray that y'all protect it. No harm, no hurt, harm shall follow y'all. I pray that y'all have favor. Show love. If y'all don't do anything else, go show somebody some love. Go pray for somebody. Go give somebody a high five go give somebody some flowers whatever but i love y'all y'all have a great day thank y'all for tuning in and i will be back dang d i'm about to you just cop ah uh, dang okay y'all go follow d y'all go follow d she right there it's the it's the purple one uh n-i-s-y y'all go follow my friend it's one of my favorite friends she's very 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 talented a lot of this, the videos and content that y'all see me making do she's the one that's inspired we have daily conversations she helps with the page so y'all please go talk to her y'all please go comment y'all go follow her and show her some love i'm out god bless y'all have a good one